Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're out here at Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club on the driving range and we're going to work on a common problem that a lot of amateur golfers have and that is over hooking the golf ball when they're not wanting to hook the golf ball. So over the years I've seen a couple of tendencies that can cause that and I'm going to go through some stuff to work on a couple of drills to address those issues. Uh, down on the ground here, we're going to zoom in and we're going to look at what I've got my feet in here, especially on the left foot here. So if you can see this, a lot of times people when they swing that pick up their left foot, when they come down on their downswing, they will spin it back this way and it will make them lean back and flip their hands. So I've got these rails down here, these rods for, like, and you can use tees also. But you can put them right next to your foot. And this is one of the neatest things, because you, if you're used to doing this, you, you can't tell you're moving your feet. So when you hit, you keep your foot like that. You don't want to spin back. So if you hit the ball and you look, you're like, oh man, my foot came back two inches then you know you got this issue. So the idea is to keep your foot more grounded and uh, let's not spin backwards. So that would be one drill. Another thing is for that person that has an issue is I like to do a drill where we get set up, open the hips, get in the preset position of how we want to hit the ball. Got my hips open, weights on the outside of the left heel, and then just do a chip-like motion and then hold the finish so they can feel their hands ahead of the club face and then also they can feel the weight in the outside of their left heel. 80% of the weight is over here on the left heel. So again, set up normal, twist your hips open, eyes are on the ball, weight's on the outside of the left foot. You can see how my foot is rolled and then I just want you to make a little chip shot with the head stand down, arms extended so you can feel the proper position through impact. That's a great drill to feel that. Other thing I see people do that causes a hook besides this is they tend to get on their toes when they hit. Their balance is off. So when they're swinging they're leaning forward and then they flip and there's no rotation of the hips. That's why that drill is a great drill to get someone feeling the balance right here at impact but this is a great drill I've done. There's different training aids. I got one from my line Gap Golf, which is awesome where you can stand on this rod. It's like uh, it's like the noodles you use in a pool and it keeps your balance, but you can you don't have to buy one of those. You can use golf balls. I've done this for for years where you can take golf balls do that. Now your weight's probably 60, 40 with that being on your heels and you can make swings where you don't dive into it. And then you should see your balance getting better. And then also your arms working more down the line as opposed to when you fall on your toes, then you flip and that can make you go way left. Especially with the driver, when you're trying to hit it so hard the balance gets off and then you hit those duck hooks. So this is great drill to get more planted Feel your weight, get your legs really strong. And uh, I've taught this for many years too, the way to do that too. A lot of people don't understand that you need to just make yourself heavy at setup. I mean, add add 50 pounds of weight by pushing down to the ground. Bow your knees out. That, that makes your legs stronger. Open your toes up at setup. That's a safe position for your knees. And also with your toes open, that allows you to rotate better through it. But balance is important. And a lot of people, they're looking to do other things in their swing when it actually is with their setup and their balance point. So there's a couple of drills you can do. I do them with the pitching wedge. The one with the balls here, I'll do it at like 50 to 60% speed, tee it up, and just get the feel of hitting. All right, for more great information and blogs and vlogs, go to barnhillgolf.com and we'll see you next time.